Item Number SCP-5135 Level 4 Secret Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Eki Risk Class Caution Secure Containment Procedures Physical evidence supporting the existence of the events of SCP-5135 are to be secured and archived. People claiming to remember any events associated with SCP-5135 are to be administered amnestics and, pending brief psychological review, released without further incident. The area containing SCP-5135-1 is to be secured with a 1 km radius exclusion area inside the Golden Gate National Recreation Area marked with physical security, fencing, and security personnel. SCP-5135-1 itself is to be sealed inside a 10m by 10m sarcophagus with cement walls no less than 0.5m in thickness. There is to be no door into the container. Note, this sarcophagus is meant to protect SCP-5135-1 from exterior forces. It will offer no mitigation of destructive impact in the event of detonation. SCP-5135 is a global-scale armed conflict which did not occur between 2009 and 2017, for which evidence exists that it did. This evidence, which consists of documents, radio signals, photographs, and fragments of digital data such as images and communications, has been recovered intermittently since 2011. It is theorized that this evidence is an anomalous manifestation of an alternate, parallel timeline. See Addendum Z. Very little exists about the details of SCP-5135. Some general information about the cause, context, and impact of the conflict has been learned through examination of the recovered data. SCP-5135 involves at least four global superpowers, of which two are the United States and the People's Republic of China. SCP-5135 utilizes a high level of espionage and cyber warfare. The first physical military engagement on U.S. soil occurred in 2010, with additional engagements occurring several times since then, as late as 2014. Widespread misinformation campaigns are integral to the strategies of at least the United States, and one other belligerent. The conflict has included nuclear engagement since at least 2016. The Foundation may be involved. SCP-5135-1 is an undetonated nuclear device. It is of a size and payload similar to the Soviet RDS-202 hydrogen bomb, Tsar Bomba, tested on October 30, 1961. The casing is inscribed, see below. Its estimated yield is approximately 97 megatons. Casing Inscription The Family's Lost, Kauai, Hawaii, December 24, 2012. Indistinguishable, North Carolina, March 12, 2016. This one's for you. SCP-5135-1 is locked in a temporal stasis field and presently hovers 104.6 cm above the ground. The source of this field is unknown, but is suspected to be caused by Foundation personnel or an equivalent in the SCP-5135 timeline. Measurements suggest that despite appearing still, SCP-5135-1 retains its momentum and kinetic energy. As such, any physical interaction with it may cause instant detonation. Addendum 1 Theorized Timeline The following is a possible timeline of events for SCP-5135. 2008 The United States sends emergency relief supplies in response to the 2008 Sichuan earthquake. Some of these supplies are contaminated with biological agents that cause a biological outbreak resulting in an unknown number of casualties. Early 2009 Chinese agents operating in the U.S uncovered that this contamination was intentional. China launches a military strike against the United States. Details and U.S. response unknown. November 2009 After escalated military engagement over the year, another nation joins the engagement with a military operation against China. The United States denies affiliation or alliance with this third nation. 2010 
military troops arrive on the east coast of the United States from another unknown nation. 2011 In a closed-door summit, members of the European Union expressed a desire for this conflict to end. Summer 2012 Military forces attack Hawaii, and set up a military installation in Kauai. The United States begins their siege of this installation. December 24, 2012 The United States bombs the installation of Kauai, killing hundreds of military and civilians. The U.S. considers this operation a success. Early 2013 The National Security Agency begins a disinformation campaign to quell growing U.S. concerns after the bombing of U.S. civilians. March 2016 A nuclear strike occurs on U.S. soil. June 2016 An aircraft with a nuclear payload is shot down over Italy by unknown aggressors, resulting in catastrophic loss of civilian life. No evidence has been recovered regarding any event after this occurred. It is unclear if the war ended after this point or the world devolved into a self-destructive nuclear conflict. Addendum 2 Collected Evidence of SCP-5135 Inventory Code 5135-E-1 A corrupted digital photograph of a U.S. government document indicating a military strike by China in early 2009. Contents Sections in red are marked for redaction under 50 U.S.C. Section 403. Information classified under the authority of the CIA. Hours to do something. Decision now. This was unprovoked, and we need to continue to show that the American people are strong in the face of chaos. I have expressed to the Chinese ambassador that in light of this attack, we will be asking the Chinese government to recall him. We would like this done before the end of March. Let me reiterate to all of you that the impact of this attack, the American way of life, is the highest priority. There will be no mercy for those who would attempt to imp values, our lands, and our way of life, moving forward. Inventory Code 5135-E-2 An audio fragment of a phone call between an unknown U.S. government employee, possibly employed by the U.S. Secretary of State, and an unknown party. Contents. Metadata indicates this call took place in on November 19, 2009, at 5.43 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, the Secretary of State already said that we're disavowing any relationship. Regardless, the CMC is being briefed that we're involved. They don't know that. And with all the attacks this year, I can't imagine that Dale is going to authorize that kind of conversation. Alright, sir. I understand. Inventory Code 5135-E-3 An encrypted plain text file from an unknown U.S. operative. Significant data loss. Contents PRC aware U.S. in ball in 08 bio-op Orses operating in Kauai since 12th. Bound Asian hand risk move or NSA suppress info 10 degrees east, coast and gate population. Inventory code 5135 E 5. Description Brief excerpt of air traffic control signal picked up by Italian ENAV, air traffic control. Transmissions are from Italy Area Control Center in Rome, Roma. U.S. Army 173rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team Airborne, Red Tail, an unidentified aircraft, UAC-001. Note, blocked indicates the message was blocked by another transmission. Aircraft heading 185, Navoma, you're on radio. Aircraft heading 185, uh, Roma, you're on radio. Aircraft 185, Navoma, you're on radio. Clock 72, radio and operative, Roma. Roma Army 1016, heading 025 on the 1016. Army 1016, Roma, are you back to aircraft heading 185, is that you? 
Roma Army 1016 negative. Army uh, 105. Aircraft to the 187. In the. Well, we oh, are you the aircraft? Ceasefire, ceasefire, U.S. Army 173 Embassy Airborne, ceasefire. Ceasefire, advise I'm carrying a nuclear plane. Right. Where is the aircraft that bastard? I am hooked, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. I am in ceasefire, damaged aircraft, gunfire, flight level, fire damage. Standard position, frozen force, can you maintain the turnbuckle? Stop maintaining. End of recording. Addendum 3 Additional Observations Dr. Voigt is a theoretical physicist specializing in temporal anomalies and is employed in the Foundation Office of the Historian. Recording begins. There is one thing they want to be completely and totally clear about. Yes? I want to be certain that this war is not something that happened in our reality. We are not threatened by it. Doctor, that's a bit of a complicated question. On the surface, yes, it definitely seems that this war tangibly did not happen here. The collection of items we've uncovered paint a very stark picture of a world that we are quite sure never occurred. But you have another theory? Unfortunately, there is the possibility the war did happen. It could still be happening. Where? Here. On Earth. In this reality. Dr. Delkert scribbles in the notebook. Some kind of anti-memetic war? And these pieces of evidence are… no. Not an anomalous war. A mundane one. Perhaps contained partially by anomalous means. But a mundane war nonetheless. SCP-5135 is a full-scale armed conflict, Doctor involving multiple nuclear attacks and massive loss of both military and civilian life. And? That's not something you can easily hide. You're not a military man, are you, if you don't mind me saying so? No. Ever been to Iraq? No. Can you tell me? How do you know the war in Iraq happened? Through historical records, media reporting. And if there was none? What if the news never reported on the war in Iraq, never made statements about it, never decorated soldiers for it? Would you even know it happened? You're talking about a cover-up on a global scale. Wouldn't there be evidence? Dr. Void is tapping on the front page of the containment file for SCP-5135. Physical evidence supporting the existence of the events of SCP-5135 are to be secured and archived. My god, are we… are we the cover-up? Recording ends.